growing the global economy. J.P. Morgan Chairman and CEO Jamie Dimon releasing his annual letter to shareholders this morning and also penning an op-ed in the Wall Street Journal about how government can work with private companies to spur economic growth and help the country's workers. In his letter to shareholders, Diamond gave his take on the global economy. He writes, in part, the global economy across Asia and Japan, Latin America and Europe and the United States has been doing well, better than most would have expected a year ago. The United States in particular may be strengthening as we speak. It comes a day before the release of the March jobs report. For the March jobs report, we're expecting 193,000 jobs to have added to the economy in the month of March with the unemployment rate down one-tenth of a percent to four percent. That would be f almost full employment. Joining me right now to talk more about the broad uh, environment out there is BNP Paribas, USA CEO, Jean-Yves Fillion. Jean-Yves, good to see you. Thank you for having me, Thank Maria. you so much for joining us. And you've got a great vantage point to see not just the corporate sector, but the retail sector with the bank in San Francisco. Let's talk about your views here and how you characterize the economy from 30,000 feet. What are you seeing? Well, it's... Um it's as good as it gets. You know, global economy has grown uh, by 4%. Asia is on a good momentum. U.S. is uh, still in a very good uh, uh, trend, good dynamic expansion. Corporate America is in a great shape, cash rich, delivered, and uh, Europe is booming. Uh, expansion, uh, it benefits all countries, uh, uh, which is uh, an, an interesting evolution, and under a very strong leadership from France and Germany. And you know there, the ECB is still providing a strong stimulus, uh, even though tapering. You, you're speaking to so many international clients, clients in the United States on the corporate side. Let me ask you what you're hearing from them in terms of the tax plan, the policies coming out of Washington. How has it impacted them and how are they putting money to work? Well, the tax plan has been very well received, obviously, and uh, the tax cut benefits uh, significantly U.S. corporates and U.S. multinationals. There is one dimension of the tax reform which uh, I think is, is quite important as well. This is the repatriation. Uh, These uh, this, this flows of money that are coming back thanks to this uh, um, uh, repatriation uh, dimension uh, will eventually fuel uh, the economy, hopefully create more jobs and uh, uh, provide more uh, investments. You know, people were afraid that companies would only use that extra savings to buy back stock. We've seen a lot of buybacks, but you think we are going to see a pickup in deal flow and actually a better backdrop? Well, it's an excellent point. So far, it is very true that probably linked to some uncertainties and some volatility, uh, the buyback uh, trend has been quite high. Uh, I'm an optimist. I think that eventually, because of the good state of this economy, it's going to convert into um, um, real investments and uh, uh, continue to support the expansion we see here. Jean-Yves, what about the trade story, the back and forth over tariffs right now, unnerving markets? The, they say it's created so much volatility. You're seeing it in your business. Markets saw a massive move yesterday, swinging more than 700 hundred points. Do you expect volatility to continue? How does that impact your business? Well, we, we, we do. And if I may say, the probably the abnormal situation was last year when volatility was low, U.S. equities were high. Right. That was the abnormal part, uh, not the this. abnormal yeah, part, yeah, sure. exactly. That's a good then, point. Um, and we're probably, the next phase, and this phase is probably back to more uh, normal volatility. You look at the VIX, you know, it, 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 it's, it's in the 20s, it's been historically in the 20s, and this is where we are. Just one point on volatility. Last year, the markets were fully invested in U.S. equities, you know, supported by the tax reform, supported by some deregulatory actions. And it was somewhere, somewhat a, a, a perfect setup for, uh, you know, fueling sell-off uh, in 18. And with the pickup in inflation, with the trade discussions that you just mentioned, this is really what's happening here. Are you worried about the trade discussions? Are you worried about the potential of a trade war? Do you think this is just negotiation and sort of par for the course? My clients are worried about they it. They are. Uh, and particularly the ones who are importing, exporting. A big part of my client base is multinational. Um, it's it's from from my bank. We spend a lot of time advising them. Uh, it's been actually good dialogue. They look more and more for risk management solutions, for hedging, for structured uh, protection. Which for BNP Paribas being one of the lead derivative houses in the world, it's uh, something we can uh, advise well, and we are well equipped to um, hopefully you know uh, support them in these times of more validity, more uncertainty. On the negotiation phase, mm. I do believe that 
hopefully we will sit around the table. This is a commercial discussion. And Maria, these agreements have been in existence for a long time. Yeah. And they might not have been revisited uh, often enough and hopefully in end up in a constructive uh, uh, solution. Uh, it would be too bad at a time the global economy is actually doing so well across the three regions. Yeah.